me and I've got a very special treat for you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Now I've got a treat for you both now. Ladies, listen very carefully. Girls, listen very carefully. The next time you open your eyes, the next time you open your eyes, I am going to give you a pair of very special glasses, girls. The next time you open your eyes, girls, I'm going to give you a pair of very special glasses. And when you wear my very special glasses, girls, every lad in this room is stark naked. When you wear my very special glasses, girls, every man, every lad, every boy in this room is stark naked. And when you wear my super duper x-ray glasses, you will be able to tell the men from the boys. And you put the boys they out to us. They did this okay, when I was on eyes, all the days. Well, they won them up right there. Last they week, week I was in the show down in London. Bigger, bigger, I was in the town of the day. I went into one of these naughty sex shops in Soho. And I bought loads of pairs of fees. Oh. I've never seen these before. They're super duper x-ray glasses. If you, when you wear them, you can see fellas naked. Hands up for that, I go. Really? Stand up for me. Don't, don't put them on until I ask you to. Now just watch the reaction on their faces. Stick them on. They're fantastic, aren't they? They're absolutely fantastic. Have a look around. And point out the men from the boys. Sorry? Mike! Mike! <laughs> what about Mike? I can see Mike! Yeah? Is he a man or a boy? A boy! <laughs> <laughs> have a look, have a look. Sorry? <laughs> have a look over here. Can you stand up for me? Oh, Glenn. Yeah. Come here. See him over there? See him? Is, is he a man or a boy? A baby! <laughs> wow! Come on! Come on, stand up, we have a good look. Have a good look around. Let's see how over here. Oh, what about over here? I can see Ralph. Sorry? I can see Ralph. Oh, right. What? Have you seen anything special? No. <laughs> no? Have you seen anything special tonight? No. Uh... No? Oh, okay. Do you want to buy a pair? What? Do you want to buy them? Yeah. Make me an offer. You got any money with you? Yeah. Make me an offer if you have the glasses. Fifty pounds. Have you got fifty quid? I think so. Well, go and get it then. You want to buy them? And you got any cash with you tonight? You don't know? His boyfriend now. His boyfriend now? Okay. <laughs> you got any cash with you? Yeah. You want to buy a pair? No, I'm keeping my spare. Sorry? I'm keeping my money in my spare. Keeping your money, so you don't want a pair? No, I pinch them. You got to pinch them on you? Okay. <laughs> have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh. They're good though, aren't they? They're excellent. Sorry? I think that. Pardon? Do they suit me? Yeah, you look, you look lovely. Tell us she looks lovely. You can't, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, 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 six. Hello, dear. <laughs> All right, yeah. Right. I've lost one pair, haven't I? Still on her head. Listen carefully, I am talking to both of you. The next time you open your eyes, I am completely invisible. You don't see me, my clothes, or my microphone. But you do hear my voice from time to time. And strange, funny, and frightening things will happen. But whatever you do, you do not bump into anything or knock anything over. The next time you open your eyes, 
I am completely invisible. Don't see me, my clothes, or my microphone. But you do hear my voice from time to time. And strange, funny, and frightening things will happen. But when it does happen, you, you don't bump into anything or knock anything over. I open wide awake. You'll now see a chair moving on its own, and that is pretty spooky. Just watch their reaction. You don't bump into anything or knock anything over. On the count of two, both of you move your chairs two paces forward. One, two. You don't bump into anything or knock anything over. Now the chair will come towards you quite fast, and it's going to be really scary. Watch their reaction. The next time I touch on the shoulder, the person I touch on the shoulder now, move your chair three paces. The next time I touch on the shoulder, you'll only see my horrible hand. You'll only see my horrible hand on your shoulder. It's so scary, it makes you jump and scream. Just watch the reaction. Chairs back to your same positions, chairs back to your same positions, chairs back, back to your positions. The next time I touch on the shoulder, you only see my horrible scary face, much more scary than that hand. But whatever you do, you do not hit the hypnotist, because it has happened before in the past, it has happened before. Just watch the reaction. <laughs> On the count of two, on the count of two, you wonder what the hell are you doing? One, two. Cheers back, cheers back, cheers back, cheers back, cheers back. Cheers back. Hands up if you believe in fairies. Do you believe in fairies? No, it's stupid. No, it's stupid. Do you believe in fairies? No one. No sleep. Eyes closed, deeper, deeper, black, deeper sleep. The next time you open your eyes, the floor is covered with tiny six-inch fairies. The next time you open your eyes, the floor is covered with tiny six-inch fairies. You pick up one of the fairies and you guard it with your life. If anything happens to your fairy, you'll go absolutely nuts. Just watch the reaction. Eyes open, wide awake. Look, 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 look. Pick one up, pick one up. Pick one up. I said, if he was a dog, he'd been shot by the legal rape. He's got spit all over his head. What's your fairy called? Geordie. Geordie? What's your fairy called? Oh, right. Oh, by the way, you are stuck to your chairs, and your chairs are stuck to the floor. Because when I snap my fingers, your fairies will jump into the palm of my hand. Watch the reaction. After two, one, two. <laughs> Sorry? That's my fairy. Is it? Give it back. Stuck to your chairs, chairs stuck to the floor. Because there's something I haven't told you. There's something I haven't told you. Do you know, do you know what? I hate fairies. <laughs> do you know what I love to do to fairies? What? I love to rip their wings off. Sorry? That's my fairy. You won't rip it. I love to rip their wings off. And I rip your head off. Watch their reaction now. Just watch their reaction. Can you hear the fairies? Look! The fairies have got no wings. 
that I am a sporting man, I let them try and make a run for you. What's the reaction? Look, here they go, here they go, look, here they go. Look, there's yours, there's yours, look. Sorry? You are not scared of life, you. I know, I'm, I'm horrible, aren't I? Sorry? We'll come to you. Oh. Hey, the outside, that was just a trick. Would you, would you like your family to come back? Yeah? Would you like them to come back? I'll show you how. Hold out your hand with your fist like this. Okay? Concentrate. And shout out loud after I say it. With feeling, okay? And your fears will come back. I'll show you now. Yeah? Listen to me and repeat after me as loud as you can with feeling. Ready? I do. I do. I do, I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. I do believe in fairies. I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. I do believe in fairies. Louder, I do, I do, I do believe in fairies. After three, open your hands, the fairies are back. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. It's time for the fairies to go to bed now. Give them a kiss. Chuck them in the air. Wait till I, wave bye bye. They're flying away now, they're flying away. Hey, they're coming back. What are they doing? After three, you better duck. Hey, what are they doing? They're getting the machine guns out. One, two, three! <laughs> what do you think of fairies now? Shoot it there. What do you think of fairies now? They're nasty. Nasty. They're back. They're back. They've gone now. They've gone. They've gone now. They've gone. Horrible things, fairies, aren't they? Yeah, you made them nasty, didn't you? I did make them nasty. I didn't. And see. And see. Listen very carefully, I am talking to you all. Listen very carefully, I am talking to you all. Now. The next time you open your eyes, the next time you open your eyes, when the music plays, when the music plays, you jump up from your chairs and you become, and you will demonstrate to us how good you are at ballet dancing. The next time you open your eyes, when that music plays, you jump up from your chairs and you become the world's greatest, bestest ballet dancers. You're going to show your loose twirls, pirouettes. You're absolutely going to love it. Talking to all eyes open, wide awake. When that music stops, you wonder what the hell 
you have been doing. Right, Link. <laughs> what are you doing? The music stopped. What are you doing? You're dizzy. You're dizzy, do you know why? I'm dizzy. Dizzy? You feel dizzy? Yeah. Yeah, have a seat. You feel dizzy, but you don't know why. Is that right? You feel dizzy, but you don't know why. Okay? Sleep. Sleep. Listen very carefully. I'm only talking to the lady I'm touching on the shoulder now. I'm only talking to the lady I'm touching on the shoulder now. The next time you open your eyes, you are the a world famous mind reader. You are the world famous, world famous mind reader. Um, every person I point to, you can read their minds. Every person I point to, you can read their minds and tell us all their little, little secrets. Eyes open, why do Can you tell me? What's your name? You've got a very special quality, haven't you? Yeah. Tell us what, all what it is. Sorry? <laughs> but you're also a mind reader, aren't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, every person I point to, you can read their thoughts, can't you? Oh. Try it. If I point to say him, what comes to your mind? That you're full of shit. Who, him? That you're full of shit. Him. Yeah. He's full of shit. Give, give us an example. That you were full of shit. Me? Him. Him, give us an example. That you were full of shit. Oh, I'm full of shit. Yeah. Well, what about her? She's thinking. Because I look like a mom. She's thinking you look like a mom. What about this guy here? I don't know. Concentrate, concentrate. It's, it's going to come. Concentrate. <laughs> the first thing that comes into your head. No. Sorry? You're saying no. Have a seat. You're getting exhausted. For the last time now, talk to your sleep. And this is the one you've all been waiting for. Because. Listen very carefully, I am talking to you all, both of you girls. The next time you open your eyes, girls, when that music plays, you both become sexy, sexy strippers. But you do not remove any item of clothing. You just sexy remove your imaginary clothing. And oh my God, you are sexy. The next time you open your eyes, when that music plays, you become the world's sexiest strippers. But you do not remove any item of clothing. You just sexy remove your imaginary clothing, and you absolutely love it. Talking to your eyes open, wide awake. So sexy. When that music stops, you wonder what the hell you've been doing to spot their faces. Hi. When I spoke to Anne earlier on, it is Anne, isn't it? And when I spoke to Anne earlier on, when I came in, she said to me, after your spot, did you cut the strippers off the boys? Did you know that? No. No? Did you know that? Oh, that's odd. Because uh, Anne said to me, uh, she pointed out to me. She said, Oh, yeah, the strippers, Ray. Anne knows you. Yeah, you. You are never did. Honestly, she pointed you out. And you. Yeah? She said, These were the strippers for the boys later on. Is it you? Not you, is it? No, it wasn't me. Really? Listen to this. So sexy. 
these new shoes? Are these new shoes? So sexy. And when that music stops, you wonder what the hell you have been doing. What the hell is he doing? Have a seat. Have a seat. Listen very carefully, I am talking to both of you. Listen very carefully, I am talking to both of you. In a moment, I am going to count to five. On the count of five, you'll open your eyes, be wide awake, fully alert, feeling absolutely fantastic. And every suggestion I've given you is now cancelled. Every suggestion I've given you is now cancelled. And when you do open your eyes, You'll forget everything you've done up here for the last hour and a quarter. You'll forget everything you've done up here for the last hour and a quarter. In fact, you really believe you've only just got up here. You really believe you've only just got up here. Now everybody, I did say stand or fall on volunteers. And we have a great couple here, absolutely fantastic. So when they do open their eyes on five, give a big round of applause. The, big, the biggest round of applause you've ever given anybody that did say was stand or fall on volunteers. Now when you do open your eyes, girls, you forget everything you've done the last hour and quarter. In fact, in fact, you really believe you've only just got up here. One, to deep breath in, deep breath out, and every suggestion I'm giving you is now cancelled, now gone. Two, feeling good, better, Feel great all over, inside and out. Three, and on five, when you open your eyes, you forget everything you've done last hour and a quarter. In fact, you really believe you've only just got up here. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide away. Come on. How long have you been sat here? What? How long have you been sat here? Now. Just now. How long have you been sat here? Where's everyone else gone? Oh, good. Well, the thing is, yeah, uh, we've got all the volunteers up, we've got all the volunteers up, and I had a phone call off my wife saying, Ray, can you get back quick? The cat is stuck up on the garage roof, can you come and get it down? So I can't do the show, sorry. Okay. Are you disappointed? No. Yeah? Give a big round of applause for volunteer. Sorry, I can't do the show, I'm very sorry. Give a big round of applause. Thank you very much guys, have a good evening, have a 